Hi guys, Vanessa here. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my drugstore favorites. But I know that it can be overwhelming when you're shopping at the drugstore, um, especially because there's more hits. Sorry. Especially because there's more misses than hits at the drugstore. So I thought instead of putting all my drugstore uh, favorites in one video, which would probably be a really long video because there are some um, gloves that I have at the drugstore, except they are like everywhere. So they're a little bit of one brand and I have a few favorites from a different brand. So today's video, we are going to be talking about all about Milani. So I feel like Milani is one of those brands that's pretty solid at the drugstore. Um, they do have a lot of good quality um, products for the price point. Um, but again, it's not always the best. So these products I'm talking about today are going to be my favorites from Milani, but also kind of like my holy grail. So I use them all the time. So I thought I should share those today. So let's just get into it. So I guess I'm going to go in in the order that I would do my makeup. Today, my makeup is actually all Milani, um, with the exception of my brows and my eyeshadow. But we're going to go in with the most probably popular product from Milani. This is the 2-in-1 uh, Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is the Creamy Nude shade. That's my shade that I'm using. And this shade, I would say, fits me pretty perfectly. Um, if you were to tell me maybe like three years ago if I liked this foundation, I would have been like no because the color selection was very terrible. So Milani did a great job in adding more shades. So their shade range is way better than what it once was when they first um, launched this foundation. So this foundation actually is what it says. It's your foundation and then you can apply more on your brush or on your beauty sponge and you can conceal and correct your under eyes. So that's what I did for today's video. Um, and this is what it looks like. I would say it's a very full coverage foundation, medium to full coverage, but definitely you are going to get coverage out of this foundation. Um, and then I didn't even prime my skin. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to show you guys what this foundation really looks like without adding any luminizer, primer, or anything like that. So second up, I'm going in with the very popular um, baked blushes. I feel like the baked blushes got the attention when Luminoso came out because I think a lot of people were saying that it was a dupe for NARS orgasm. This is definitely more peachier. Um, so I actually have Luminoso with me right here. I really want to specifically talk about this shade. This is the shade Petal Primavera. This is a really hard shade to find, but I have repurchased this time and time again. As you can see, it's really, really been loved. It's a perfect mauve shade, so I do love the pigment, and I do have that on the face today. So this is Petal Primavera. And I have found this blush at Ulta. So specifically at Ulta, I have found this. I'm not sure if you can order it at other stores. Um, maybe you can check online, but that's one shade that I really love and I have purchased over and over again. So this bronzer is probably not going to be any surprise to you if you've been watching my videos. Um, it's actually one I use on the daily. This is my second or third um bronzer because I have repurchased it. This is the shade uh, Sunkissed. This is shade number two. So this is what it looks like. And the reason I love this bronzer is because it's not patchy when it blends on the skin. It's actually nice and smooth. It's finely milled. I don't feel like it's like too warm. It's not too cool. It's kind of, it kind of gives you both. It gives you, it does have a warm undertone, but it's definitely more on the cool tone. So that's sun kissed right there. And this is one of my favorites that I have used even sometimes even over my hand bronzers, which says a lot. So definitely check that one out. And they do have other shades, um, but this one I find is the best one just because of the undertone. And then moving on to a highlight. So this is actually a recent discovery of mine. This is the highlighter in the shade Power Up Highlighter Duo. So this comes with two highlighters. It's the highlighter that I'm using on the face today. So this shade in particular right here on the right side, I like just because of the color. I feel like it's a pretty champagne. It's really close to Champagne Pop by uh, Becca Cosmetics, which is like the OG. And then this shade right here is really pretty too. 
there's nothing wrong with it the only thing with me is that i noticed that it's um deep for my skin tone so it's a little bit more rich so if you're about two shades deeper than i am it's really gonna look really pretty on your skin tone the only thing with me is that you can definitely see it visible to eye so what i mean by that is that when i look straight forward you will see the line of where i um, applied the highlighter so for that reason i don't use this shade right here but it's really pretty and they're both really pigmented they do have another duo i think they only have two duos that i saw at ulta um and that one is more suitable for very like medium deep skin tone and that one had really pretty colors too but i did have to exchange it for again the shade duo in power up so next up i have this rose butter by milani it's actually what i'm using on the lips today i like this lip mask because it actually is very moisturizing you know how some lip balms can kind of feel like they're like slippery or watery or very thin like they're gonna fall off the lips this one doesn't do this this one feels really creamy really buttery and i like the shine um to this lip mask i have been using it for quite a while as you can see i actually saw some reviews comparing it to the laneige lip mask which is really popular from sephora i couldn't find my full size because i've been using this guy but I'll show you a mini that I have from the Laneige in comparison. So really similar, as you can tell, really similar. I don't find honestly much of a difference. The only thing I would say is that the Laneige one is not as shiny. So I don't know if that would be a problem for you. If you don't like the shine, then the Laneige one would be, I guess, your choice, but I mean, really, they are pretty comparable. For the price point, I feel like the Rose Butter is really your guide. And even though it's something I probably wouldn't carry in my purse because of the constant contamination of going in um, with the finger, I do like to apply this after I do my skincare routine at night and then apply this on the lips before going to bed. So really nice product. And then I actually have a favorite lip liner. For you guys, it's a nude, no surprise. I, feel it. I think this is called Cafe a Latte. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but it's this shade right here. It's beautiful, neutral brown nude, um, and it's a retractable liner. This is the Understatement Lip Liner by Milani, and this is, I mean, just a great nude. You definitely need that in your collection, so I thought I'd share. And that's one that I've been reaching for. I think it might be even comparable to, I think, the KKW Lip Liner 2. I'm not sure, but I will definitely let you guys know. And then next up, I want to share a mascara from Milani. So this is for those of you that like the big, thick wands. So this is what it looks like. The only thing I will say about this mascara, actually, did I even mention what it's called? This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. So this mascara, I feel like with any mascara, I don't know if it's just me, the mascara gets better as you use it. When you first use a mascara, it's not at its fullest, I guess it's not showing its full potential. It's actually better as it gets more use out of it. So when I first started using this, I was like, oh no. Like I thought I would like it because of the wand. I like this thick solid wand. But um, I didn't. It took some time to definitely um, use this mascara. Even though I feel like mascara is such a personal preference and choice, we all like different things from our lashes. I like that this one gives you great volume. So definitely more like a volumizing mascara. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So that completes this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my favorite from Milani. Milani is definitely one of those brands that you can trust more when it comes to trying things out from their brand at the drugstore versus getting something from like Revlon or Maybelline or such um, brands like those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what brands from the drugstore um, you would like me to do next. So let me know in the comments down below what um, brand you'd like to see next. Maybe I can do like these drugstore brand favorites. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.